What's going on everybody? We're back here today with some Windows 8.1 action. So I just wanted to make kind of an updated video on what it's like to use Windows 8.1 in 2021. I did the same kind of video last year for 2020 and I just kind of wanted to update it a little bit. Okay, so here we are. We're on Windows 8.1 Professional. This is the absolute latest version that you can possibly get. And yes, Microsoft is still supporting Windows 8.1, and I believe they're supporting it until January of 2023. So what do I mean by that? Well, well, when a new operating system comes out, so for example, we went from 8.1 to 10, that means that 8.1 was no longer receiving any feature-related updates, so no new features. But... Microsoft still supports it with security updates. So if there's any sort of security issues that happen, Microsoft will go in and they will fix them for you. So Windows 8.1 is still used by quite a few people today. I have a lot of people, I have quite a few people that comment on my last 8.1 video saying that they are still using it today on their main PCs. So 8.1 obviously was not 8 because 8 was just a mess and Microsoft had to do something because of the backlash due to 8. So that's where 8.1 comes in. Now it's still kind of all over the place. We basically have majority of the look of Windows 7. So if you look at things like the icons, you know, you have your file explorer, recycle bin, all these icons down here in the bottom right of the taskbar. And even if you go into something like the file explorer, you will notice that the icons look like they did in Windows 7. But 8.1 did do a little bit of changes. So for example, your windows actually look a little bit different, you know, your buttons up here. Uh, so a few little design changes here and there, but majority of the stuff is basically the same. The thing about Windows 8 and why I think it failed is because Microsoft they made it seem like this was meant for tablets only. There's a lot of weird things that kind of go on and kind of don't work so well with a cursor. So one thing, for example, is there's a lot of hot corners in Windows 8.1. So basically, if you go to any of these four corners, they will do something different. So for example, if we go up here to the top left corner, this will take us back to our recent application. And I am on a virtual machine, so it's kind of hard to get it to work, but if you go up here, it'll take you back to a recent application. If you go over here to the right hot corner, it will actually bring up kind of like a little quick access menu kind of deal. Again, this is really hard. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can see you have some like quick function things here. So we have your search function, share, start menu, devices, and settings. And then we even have a little look down there that tells us some quick info like our time or if we're connected to Wi-Fi and what our charge is. So again, kind of seems like a tablet kind of inspired thing. But where it really seems like a tablet is when we go into the start menu. And I think the change with the start menu is what really got everybody. I think this was the biggest complaint probably because look at this. I mean, it's basically a tablet. I mean, this just screams tablet. And I noticed that I installed a much older build of 8.1. And after I did a lot of the updates, a lot of these apps have disappeared. So I don't know, I guess Microsoft got rid of them, uh, but a lot of them have disappeared. So this is all I have left. Uh, and then you, of course, you know, you can go down here and here's all the rest of your apps in a list form. The thing that always gets me about 8.1 or Windows 8 in general is the repetitiveness and the unnecessary doubling of these apps. So, so for example, if we go and want a calculator application, well, we can use a new calculator app, which is this one right here, and it just gives you this huge full screen calculator, right? Or I believe I can switch back so we can go back to the desktop okay now let's actually we can go down here and we can literally and I know this looks really slow that's because it's a virtual machine and I'm screen recording I promise it's not this slow 
but the screen recording takes up so much uh, CPU. But anyways, we can go into the old applications right here. So here is the old calculator. So it's just weird that you have both of them. You, you know, you have you can do your calculator the old-fashioned way, or you can do this fancy new full-screen application. So. You know, that can be kind of confusing for some people as well. Honestly though, I kind of like Windows 8.1. I know that might be a little weird, but it's just interesting to me how you, know, you do different things and it's nothing like Windows 10 was. I think the biggest problem Microsoft had was, again, they changed that start menu, which threw a lot of people off, but they just leaped too fast in my opinion. I mean, Windows 7, you, you've had that similar, same feeling, you know, you know when you click start, the start menu is going to pop up in its typical form, and you know, those kind of things. People have been so used to basically the same functionality of Windows for so many years that this really was just a big curveball for them, and obviously Microsoft went back to their roots in similar design in Windows 10 which is obviously much more loved than the poor old 8.1 here. But really the main thing I would just want to kind of answer is should you be using Windows 8.1 today in 2021? Well, the answer to that is if you don't mind the way Windows 8.1 works and the start menu and the design of it and all that stuff, then yeah, you can absolutely still use this in 2021. Like I said, you still have support for security uh, items and important updates until January of 2023. So what, about another two-ish years maybe? But the interesting thing of course is we just got leaked Windows 11 and Windows 11 basically gave us a uh, termination date almost for 2025 on Windows 10. And that's very interesting to me. So Windows 10 is going to be basically no longer supported about two years after 8.1 is gone. So really interesting uh, path there that they're taking. If you remember when Windows 10 came out, Microsoft said that was going to be the last version of Windows that you'll ever need. But I guess that's not true anymore. So yeah, Windows 8.1 still receives important updates, security fixes, things until 2023 and every single application works just fine so you can see we have the latest version of microsoft edge which is right here if you wanted to download any other kind of applications like a different browser uh, if you wanted to code on this or video edit photoshop i mean all that modern day apps that we use all the time you can download them and they will work and we even still have the Microsoft Store, which is right here. I know people don't typically go into the Microsoft Store. But anything will run on Windows 8.1. So a lot of stuff still support it. Everything still works great. Uh, so you should have no problems or issues. But when 2023 rolls around, you're definitely going to want to move on. And I know it's going to be kind of hard because you might enjoy 8.1, but... Not having those security updates is a huge, huge deal. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much uh, revisiting Windows 8.1 here in 2021. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you like Windows 8.1 uh, and if you still use it on your main computer today. I know that a lot of people seem like they actually still use it, so... Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it. Do you still use it? But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. I'll catch you all in the next video.